Welcome everyone to our instructional volleyball video. First, we are going to learn how to properly bump the ball. This first picture is the correct way to hold your hands for a bump. You make a fist with your dominant hand and wrap your other hand around it like in the picture. In this picture, you will see the figure in a ready position, then they are going to move to get in position to hit the ball. The contact point where you want to hit the ball is the forearm area down by the wrist. Then you want to extend your body. This will project the ball to where you want it to go. Here is a visual example. Notice where the ball is hitting on my forearm. Also notice how I am extending my body. Next we will learn how to set the volleyball. Notice in this picture how the hands are in a triangle above the player's head. This is the correct hand positioning for a set. The next picture is the correct way to set the ball. Notice how his elbows and knees are bent and his hands are in a triangle above his head. Next he contacts the ball with his fingertips and propels the ball upwards while extending his body and arms upward as well. Here is a visual demonstration. Notice how my arms start bent and extend upward through contact with the ball. Next is underhand serving. Underhand serving is generally how beginners start serving the ball. Notice how the figure starts with the ball in his non-dominant hand and steps with his non-dominant foot. He then swings his dominant hand through and strikes the ball about waist high. Make sure when you serve, your hand is balled into a fist. Here is a visual example. Overhand serving is a more effective and complex way to serve the ball. First, you are going to toss the ball about 10 feet in the air with your non-dominant hand. Then, you need to step with your non-dominant foot and contact the ball at the highest point over your head with your dominant hand. This will give the ball the best trajectory for your serve. Here is an example. Joe starts off putting the ball at the highest point over his head so he knows where his contact point is. Every serve after that, Joe does a great job meeting the ball at the contact point. Up next, we'll be learning how to set the volleyball. We will be using the wall to set the volleyball against, watch the trajectory of the volleyball, and the placement of my hands. Next, Clayton will be demonstrating bumping against the wall. Watch where the ball makes contact with Clayton's forearms, not the outside of his knuckles or the inside of his elbows. Clayton also does a good job of keeping his eye on the ball and keeping his head facing the direction he is wanting to bump the volleyball back to, in this case, the top of the wall. Next, we will be demonstrating the underhand serve. We will be demonstrating against a wall for practice. Watch as I step with my non-dominant foot and make contact with my hand straight with my arm and about three quarters of the way down the volleyball. We'll be demonstrating the overhand serve. This serve will be used at the high school and mainly college levels. Um, it is used as a more efficient way and a more um, aggressive way to get the ball across the net in hopes that the opposing team is not able to return the ball. You must make contact by stepping with your non-dominant foot. You will make contact with your arm as straight as possible and hit the side of the volleyball. The partner drill is a great way of getting real in-game practice while focusing on the fundamentals that we have already been practicing throughout the lesson.
during the partner setting drills, we will be working on keeping our hands in the shape of a triangle and using only our fingertips to make contact with the volleyball and extending our arms straight into the air. Lastly, we are going to show you a game to work on bumping and setting. It is called Monkey in the Middle, and this is for groups of three people. The person in the middle is going to work on bumping the ball, and the people on the outside are going to work on setting the ball. Not every bump or set is going to be perfect. Students can pick up the ball and go where they left off. Watch this video to understand the flow of the drill. 